Gabapentin is the 10th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with over 47 million prescriptions being written for it each year. But did you know that less than 1% of outpatient scripts are written for conditions that it's actually FDA approved for? Most of its use is off-label and a huge chunk of those prescriptions are for psychiatric conditions. So let's dive into six different mental health diagnoses that gabapentin is commonly prescribed for. And shout out to Norm for this video request. The three conditions that gabapentin is actually FDA approved to treat are post-herpetic neuralgia, so the pain that occurs after a herpes outbreak, seizures, and restless leg syndrome. And so the first and probably the most common mental health diagnosis that gabapentin is prescribed off-label for is anxiety. So let's break this down further. I've seen this medication used for pretty much every anxiety disorder out there. However, the literature supports its use for social anxiety and panic disorder. The Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology published two randomized controlled trials that found gabapentin to be more effective in treating these two conditions when compared to placebo. But the main thing to know is that these trials were relatively small and were comprised of just over 170 participants. And that's not a whole lot of people when we're talking about clinical trials for medications. So something I want you to know about is that gabapentin's cousin medication, Lyrica, which is also known as pregabalin, actually has better evidence supporting its use in treating anxiety disorders. It's actually already approved by the FDA for generalized anxiety disorder in Europe and has around eight randomized controlled trials involving over 2,000 patients with generalized or social anxiety. So you might want to consider talking to your doctor about this medication and the risks and benefits of it compared to gabapentin if you're seriously thinking about starting something new for anxiety. Condition number two that gabapentin is frequently used to treat is insomnia. The Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine published a study in 2014 that demonstrated that gabapentin improved both sleep duration and sleep quality, meaning that it led to a deeper sleep and less nighttime awakenings. But the one thing I want you to know though, is that it hasn't been shown to shorten the length of time it takes people to fall asleep, right? But the nice thing about this medication compared to some of the other sleep medications that are commonly prescribed is that gabapentin doesn't typically lead to next day impairments, such as residual sleepiness, psychomotor impairments, or cognitive impairments. The third mental health condition that gabapentin is prescribed for is bipolar disorder. We have clinical trials that show that gabapentin is not effective in treating manic episodes as a solo agent, but there's some evidence suggesting that it could potentially help as an add-on treatment meaning that we're using it in combination with another primary medication, such as lithium or Depakote. There are two small trials that evaluated this and found gabapentin to be effective. Condition number four that gabapentin is used to treat is alcohol use disorder, and there's actually some decent evidence for it. The Primary Care Companion for CNS Disorders published a meta-analysis in 2019 that demonstrated that the use of gabapentin to manage alcohol withdrawal symptoms and cravings was moderately effective and patients reported having fewer heavy drinking days and better sleep quality during recovery from alcohol use. The fifth condition that gabapentin is prescribed for is akathisia, which is a restlessness feeling that can be caused by various psychiatric medications. And the evidence for its use isn't quite as robust as some of the other medications we have out there, but there have been some open studies and case reports that have shown it to be effective. Now, if you're looking to learn more about how gabapentin works, how it's dosed, and commonly reported side effects, make sure to click that top video.